Hi, Stefan Swartling here from Swartling Network. I've got some new Android apps to try out. The first one is Google Keep. It's a free app from Google. That should be like um, Evernote or Google Notebook. The dead Google Notebook. But I must say that it doesn't look so good. It doesn't look to be useful at all. Maybe for some fast notes or something, for note taking in a meeting or, or something. But I think the design, the UI is terrible actually. I don't think I will use that much. I will still use Evernote. I don't get it why I should use this. Evernote is much better. But the other app is one app called Draft for Android. Uh, it's not like the Drafts app for iOS, but if you remember that I did a blog post and some videos about that I miss some uh, markdown text editors for uh, Android. There is no good markdown text editors for uh, Android. This app is good and it's a markdown editor. The developer contacted me because he had seen the, the posts and the videos about that I miss a markdown editor so he sent me this app to try out and uh, the first look at it and uh, the test of it I must say that it is very very good. It's actually the app I have been waiting for. It doesn't support multi-markdown yet, but the developer says that uh, he's working on that. It just supports normal markdown. But uh, normal markdown can do much, very much, so it's very useful. So if you don't care about multi-markdown, so that is not uh, a drawback for this app. What I miss in multi-markdown is uh, footnote support because I blog I often do footnotes. A footnote is uh, some uh, notes in the bottom of the post and you have a short smart link in the text so when uh, the reader clicks on that short smart link uh, it goes down to the bottom of the post so the reader can read about that topic. So the, the only thing draft miss at the moment is multi markdown support but I haven't tried it so much yet so maybe I can find more things that I miss but one thing that is cool is that you can uh, write in markdown in draft and with bold uh, italic images and all that and then when you're finished when you're done with the post the text then just hit share and choose your preferred app, for example uh, the blogger app for making a blog post and then the post opens in blogger uh, fully formatted with all the things you have done with bold, italic and so on it works really really great and from that app then you can just hit send and your blog post is done I think that's awesome so the draft markdown text editor is the app I have been looking for for Android. So now that problem is solved too in my Android experience of the switching from iOS. I will do some hands-on video with that app and uh, maybe some more. So watch out for them. Okay, bye.